Hey guys, I'm Sebastian Lefebvre, one of the goalies for the Stingers men's hockey team. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm currently studying marketing at Concordia. I can't decide on the number one. There's definitely Fruit Loops, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and Apple Jacks were my top three when I was younger. And I used to eat them every Saturday morning before practice. And that was my go-to superstition or routine I'd do every Saturday morning. And it's stuck with me since, and I can't decide on the winner. Definitely the ones I had last year on the Stingers. They were all burgundy and a bit of yellow, or the sport gold that we have. And it was my first time going with a whole solid set. Before I used to very much enjoy the white or a very simple design, but this year was when I had the opportunity to personally design them for real with my, like, my imagination. So I really liked the fast I got to make for last year. So my ties to Concordia started a long time before I actually got recruited by the hockey team. Both my parents went to Concordia. My dad played varsity basketball, my mom played varsity volleyball when I was still up and running. And my mom actually won the Denise Baudet Award in 1990, 1991. And that's where my history of Concordia started. I don't feel it had an influence on my decision to come here, but I think it's it's a cool little fact that we all three represent three different sports. I definitely had my fair share of superstitions when I was younger. It involved watching the same three videos, highlight videos of goalies I idolized when I was younger. And right after the videos, I had to start juggling and I couldn't make mistakes or else I had to start over. But now, as soon as like, when I started growing older, when I hit junior and university, the superstitions became more routine based. And one notable thing is I knight my trainer during every warm up. I'm not watching anything right now because of exams, but I like to watch what's in trends. So The Office and Brooklyn Nine Nine, I watched a lot and I binged them. But what I watched a lot during quarantine, which surprised me, was Outer Banks. It was one of those shows that was so bad it was good. A lot of my friends watched it and we kind of kept up with it throughout the whole COVID-19 situation.